Welcome. I'd like to show you how easy it is to implement earned value techniques in Microsoft Project 2007. It's important to note that in order to use earned value effectively, you must use good project technique first. And we're going to look first at how to set up Microsoft Project in a straightforward way and then drill in to how simple it is to implement earned value. It's much easier than you think. Let's start project information project start date let's set it for that Monday. Schedule from project start date that's a good convenience. We'll deal with status date later. Click OK. Tools, Options. First, I want to select Schedule. Observe these defaults. New tasks on start date. Work is entered in hours. That's very convenient. Calendar. Set the default calendar up for the project. And then calculation. Select earned value. Select percent complete. And then select the baseline that you're going to store the earned value data in. See, this is important to note. Microsoft Project stores the earned value information in the baselines. So as you evaluate and manage your project, using the earned value numbers, you'll be setting the baselines. For every, every time you set a baseline, you save that data. But that's stored. You'll want to select your working time. This is your master calendar. And then later we'll add resources, and then you can affect their calendars as well personal vacations, things like that. With that set in, let's look at the items. Give the project a name. Let's call it software project. <laughs> and we'll create four software tasks. Do a little architecture first, and then let's throw in some features. Feature one, feature two, feature three. I'm going to make those part of the master project. A word about work breakdown structure. It is essential that you break down the work to the most discrete level and create your estimates from there. A deliverables oriented work, break stru work breakdown structure is essential. Once so you have the work breakdown, it's time to put estimates. I'm not going to do it in duration. In fact, I'm not even going to worry about that field. I'm going to change it. I prefer to use work. Will build up from work. The duration is will be calculated as a result of the, the hours worked, and then the calendars of the resource and the master calendar. So Microsoft Project will build that up for us. There are times when you want to constrain something with dates, but we're going to focus on building up by the hour. Let's add estimates. Let's say that each one of these consumes 40 hours of work. And I need to create a resource for them. Go to the resource sheet. Developer 1. We're paying this developer $125 a day. Straight time. 
and it's assigned that resource now to each of these items. Now, each item has 40 hours work assigned to it. Let's create links, predecessors. I've conveniently ordered these visually in the order that they should be formed, so I'll just click there. Now, it has generated this graphical Gantt for me automatically. In fact, I won't use that normally, except for illustration. Once that's done, level the resources, hour by hour, level now. Once it's leveled, now we set the baseline. Again, it's very important, under tracking, set baseline. You won't get earned value numbers out of project if you don't set the baseline. Click OK. Now once we've done this, let's go look at our earned value numbers. View, table, entry, let's change to earned value. We've got some useful numbers here. Planned value. Earned value. Actual cost. Schedule variance. Cost variance, estimate at completion, budget at completion, or as Microsoft Project says, baseline cost, and then variance at completion. I want to insert a column here. Schedule performance index. Found it to be very useful. A cost performance index. Now, let's observe the effect of status date. Project information. Our status date, let's say we've worked for an entire week. The project started on the 6th. This is Friday. This is an inclusive date. So this will be at the end of Friday. I've done no work, so there's no earned value. Let's pretend I've done an entire, all 40 hours that week. If you notice, the earned value information, earned value data is 5,000. Of course, the associate cost is the same. There's no schedule variance. The planned value is 5,000 for that week, and I earned all of it. Now, it's difficult at a glance, in fact, it's impossible, to determine what the status date is. I'm looking at these numbers in the context of a status date. So I found it's very helpful if I do format, grid lines, status date, red, solid line. Now I'm beginning to see a picture of earned value. As of this status date on that Friday, These are my earned value figures. 